You're kidding me. He said he did it all for love. Oh, my God. Mr. and Mrs. Sadler. Please. Don't take this guy to hold me. You're sitting there until I come get him. Haley? This is an NBC News special report. Good day, folks. Welcome to NBC News. We have a special report for you all today as an unknown contagion has broke out in the city of Boston. The outbreak occurred this morning and has rapidly spread across the city. Hundreds of cases have been reported in the city of Boston, and we are getting reports of cases coming in through other cities of Massachusetts. This is not a strain or variant of COVID-19, this is an unknown illness. Rumors are coming in that this virus broke out in a lab and was created as a biological weapon as a tactic in the scenario that a war ever takes place. Apparently scientists mishandled the virus and it spread in the lab. Symptoms of this virus mimic flu, COVID, and even rabies. We will deliver more information on this spreading infection as soon as it becomes available. Stay tuned to NBC News for more on this developing situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Centers for Disease Control and the U.S. Department of Public Health. A viral infection is currently spreading across the state of Massachusetts. Hospitals in the city of Boston have been filling with hundreds of patients infected with an unknown illness. From what we know, this is not a variant of strain of the novel coronavirus. But this is still a very contagious virus. The virus is currently unknown at this time. Symptoms of this virus include severe coughing, nausea, vomiting, headache, fatigue, fever and chills, flesh wounds, moaning, slurred speech, and in some cases extremely aggressive behavior. If you or anyone else are showing symptoms of this virus, seek medical attention immediately. So far no fatalities have been reported but thousands of cases have been reported in the city of Boston alone. Due to the spread of this viral infection, the CDC has issued an advisory for all citizens of Massachusetts and eastern states. Wash your hands, keep your hands out of your mouth and nose, do not touch your face, nose, or mouth. Cover all coughs and sneezes, refrain from touching commonly touched public areas, do not use water fountains, and wear a mask in public. Due to the rapid spreading of this virus, the city of Boston is on standby for a stay-at-home order. Use caution while out in public. Stay tuned to local media and news outlets for more information. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Boston Police Department. This is not a test. I repeat. This is not a test. The city of Boston has been terrorized by groups of cannibals who have swarmed across the city, attacking civilians and causing severe mayhem around the Boston area. It is not known if these attackers have a motive or not, but these attackers are extremely dangerous and are biting anyone in their path. 
Many residents have reported aggressive homicidal attacks by these cannibals. Scratching people, biting people, and literally eating people alive. This is a very dangerous situation. The National Guard has been activated to help fight off these cannibals. It is unknown whether these cannibals belong to a terrorist group, but the city of Boston is under attack. I repeat, the city of Boston is under attack. If one of these cannibals breaks into your home or shelter, take up armed means to defend yourself. Lock all doors and windows, barricade all entrances if necessary, turn off a lights, heating, and ventilation systems and hide in a room with no doors or windows, and stay out of sight. Do not call 911 unless there is an actual emergency. First responders are currently dealing with this crisis. Stay tuned to news and local media for more information. This is an NBC News special report. We have breaking news from the city of Boston, as a cannibalistic terrorist group has attacked the city of Boston. Multiple injuries and fatalities have been reported from these attacks. An unknown terrorist group from a region not yet known has went around the city of Boston, biting people, and eating people alive. The National Guard and Police Department are currently still fighting off these cannibals. Hundreds of injuries have been reported, and as much as 56 deaths have been reported. This is a very chaotic and definitely unusual situation. Everyone in Boston must stay indoors and it's probably a good idea to barricade too. Questions are now being circulated if these terrorists are also responsible for the spread of a virus earlier, that by the way is still currently spreading. Police and military officials are creating blockades in the city of Boston. No one is allowed in or out of Boston at this time. It is too dangerous to evacuate, as doing so will put you in extreme danger. So far no terrorist group has claimed responsibility for the attacks. But many conspiracy theorists are claiming that the government is lying to you, and this is a zombie epidemic. While it is easy to blame this on weird and mysterious horror creatures, we advise you to remain rational, and to do everything possible to remain safe. These attackers are stopping at nothing to attack anyone in their way. Please tune in to local TV stations, and emergency radio for information on this situation. We expect some updates soon. Please stay tuned as we continue to cover this story. Emergency programming is in effect. This is WBZ 1030 News Radio serving the Boston area. A terrorist attack from a cannibalistic terrorist group has been taking place in Boston for the past hour and a half. The police and National Guard are trying to fight off these cannibals, but it has been a real struggle. Police have captured some of the attackers that were attacking bystanders in the downtown area. Most of these attackers were not acting like civilized ordinary humans. Most of these attackers were acting like hostile wild animals as they aggressively charged right at civilians and armed forces with little regards to anything around them. Some straight up hurtled themselves right at armed officials, and started eating them alive. We've seen some very hostile terror attacks, and terrorists groups throughout history, but we have never seen anything like this before. This is a very unusual and dangerous situation. Boston is a complete war zone. As police and armed forces continue to fight off these cannibal terrorists, and end the threat to public safety. But we're getting reports that the Boston blockade is barely holding up. 
We now go to our reporter Kimberly in downtown Boston to report live on this chaos. Kimberly. Thank you, David. I'm standing in a close proximity to what I can only describe as a chaotic war zone. Police and armed forces are clashing with these cannibal terrorists, and there is a lot of chaos within the blockade and police line. The terrorists are ruthlessly attacking the officials, and the blockade looks like it's starting to collapse. I'm honestly fearing for my life here, as I am standing in a situation that I never expected to be in. And what's even more terrifying is the fact that I can see and hear war jets flying over me. Please, if you are in the Boston area, take shelter now, and don't go outside. This is an all-out brawl, and these attackers are attacking anyone they see in a brutal, horrifying manner. The police and military are struggling to contain these attackers. This is a very bad situation. Oh no. Oh god, no. Please, no. What's going on, Kimberly? Are you okay? There. They're coming. I have to get out of here now for my own safety. Kimberly. Wait. State Priority Activation for Massachusetts The military and police blockade in Boston have been overrun by cannibalistic terrorists. The threat is likely to spread elsewhere in the state of Massachusetts. Groups of dangerous individuals have escaped the Boston area and are now heading for other locations in the state. Because of this, a shelter-in-place warning has been issued for the entire state of Massachusetts. To shelter in place, Lock all doors and windows. Turn off lights. Close all windows. Turn off heating and ventilation systems. Stay indoors, and hide in a secure area in your home with no windows or doors. Stay inside until civil authorities say otherwise. This is an attack on the state of Massachusetts. Boston has been overrun by groups of cannibalistic terrorists, and the city is deemed unsafe. All travel to Boston has been forbidden, and all citizens of Boston are ordered to remain at home and shelter in place now. Do not go outdoors in this dangerous situation. If you are 20 miles outside of the Boston area, lock all doors and windows immediately. Barricade all entrances if necessary, and hide. These attackers are extremely dangerous, and should not be approached. Stay tuned to local media for more information on this dangerous situation. State Priority Activation for the Boston-Cambridge Area An immediate threat to public safety is imminent. The threat has escaped Boston, and is now moving to the Cambridge Area. These are the same individuals from the cannibal terrorist group that attacked the city of Boston. Attacks are expected to be taking place in the Cambridge Area soon. Though the police and National Guard are trying their best to prevent the attackers from entering the Cambridge Area. If you are a resident in Cambridge, or the Cambridge area, shelter in place immediately. Lock all doors and windows. Turn off and close all fireplace dampers. 
cover all cracks on doors or windows with tape or a damp towel. If one of the cannibals breaks into your home or shelter, then take up any armed means to defend yourself. Barricading entrances is recommended, and could decrease the chances of a break in hide in a room with no lights, or windows. Barricade your hiding place. Please stay calm, and safe. Local authorities are dealing with this threat. Stay tuned to local media and news outlets for more information. Emergency programming remains in effect. We will continue to cover the cannibal terror attack situation in the Boston area. However, we have expanded our coverage to the Cambridge area, as some of the attackers have escaped Boston after overrunning the blockade, and are now on the move to the Cambridge area. We do not know if they have any motive to attack Cambridge, or if they are trying to evade armed forces and police. But all residents of Cambridge are ordered, repeat, ordered, to shelter in place now. These individuals are still extremely dangerous, and are responsible for attacks in Boston. Disturbing new reports are coming in about these attackers. These attackers have grown in large numbers in the last hour. It started off as just a few attackers, but now there are hundreds, if not thousands, of flesh-eating terrorists. This unknown terrorist organization is cannibalistic, and are biting and trying to literally eat people. It's quite scary and disgusting. I know this situation is dire, and I'm not trying to make a joke right now. But hashtag, Boston Zombies, are trending on Twitter and Facebook. It would make sense, as this appears to be a real-life zombie apocalypse playing out right before our eyes. Again, I'm not trying to mix fantasy into reality. But what else would you call this? Looking down on my chopper, and I see groups of attackers running towards the Cambridge area. Oh my god! One of them just tackled an escaping civilian, and is now beating him savagely. This a dangerous situation for Cambridge, as these cannibals are still on the attack. I can't look at this anymore. As the attacker is now biting the civilian. This is just horrific, and sad to see. For the love of God, if you are in Cambridge, get indoors now. This is a life or death situation. This terrorist group doesn't appear to be foreign. As some of these attackers look like they are from the Boston area. Domestic or foreign, terrorism is still unacceptable, and should not be tolerated. Especially in such a heinous, brutal, disgusting way like this. Rumors are going around that these terrorists wanted to create a real-life zombie apocalypse, and planned to create a zombie virus. It is believed that the virus that started spreading this morning, was also caused by these terrorists to make their plan go into effect. These are all just rumors, but some of the captured attackers were identified as citizens of Boston, who had normal lives just yesterday. Also some of the attackers have wounds all over them. Oh my god! We now have breaking news coming in on the attackers. It has been discovered that most of these attackers are in fic. This is an administrative message from the Centers for Disease Control, U.S. Department of Public Health. Boston Police Department, and the Massachusetts State Government. It has been discovered that the attackers responsible for the cannibal attacks in Boston have been infected with the unknown infection that has been spreading across the state the last few years. It is believed that this virus is causing cannibalistic behavior in the infected. Because of how contagious this virus is, everyone in the state of Massachusetts is ordered to stay at home and avoid public gatherings and contact. This is a very dangerous virus, and the spread must be stopped before it reaches the entire continental United States. Follow health guidelines, and proper hygiene protocols to avoid exposure to CX-422, the official name of the virus. Symptoms of this virus mimic flu, COVID, and rabies. Rabies strain is believed to be the cause of cannibalism in this virus. 
this virus has become dire in just a short period of time. Please listen to civil authorities and health officials on directions of how to stay safe from CX-4, 22. For the Cambridge area, the infected are moving into the area. Shelter in place now. If one of the cannibals breaks into your home, hide and use any armed means to defend yourself. Stay safe and stay tuned to local media for more information. Sorry about that folks. But welcome back to continued live coverage of the Boston and Cambridge area. As you probably just heard, but I'll fill you in in case you didn't hear the alert, it was discovered by medical scientists that most of the attackers had been infected with the new virus now known as CX-4-22. CX-4-22 is spreading at an alarming rate, and is extremely dangerous as this virus has the ability to affect the brains of the infected. A strain of rabies was found in CX-422, which is believed to be why these attackers are acting like wild animals. CX-422 affects the brain of the host by altering signals in the brain, especially food signals. And this virus appears to be modified with an unknown ingredient that causes cannibalism in the infected. It has also been confirmed now that CX-4-22 virus was a biological weapon caused by bioterrorists in the Boston area. The motive behind this attack is officially unknown, but rumors are floating around that the ones who are responsible for this chaos wanted to create a quote-unquote, real-life zombie apocalypse. We will be back to update you with more information, as soon as more becomes available. This just in. The President of the United States will be speaking on all stations shortly about this crisis. We will remain on the air to stream President Biden's speech. Please stand by for a message from the President. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you. Good evening, my fellow Americans. It is with a heavy heart that I have to announce that a tragedy has been taking place today in the Boston area. This morning, our nation was under attack by a biological terror group who released a biological weapon into the city of Boston that has caused civilians to turn into cannibalistic, flesh-eating monsters who have attacked the city. At this time, no group has reclaimed responsibility for the attack. I call on these cowards to reveal themselves immediately. Justice must be served for the crimes and heinous attacks today. To the people of Boston and the victims of these heinous attacks, our hearts are with you, our thoughts are with you, and our prayers are with you, and we ask you to please listen to civil authorities and to remain safe. No human being should ever have to feel unsafe in their city. No human being should ever have to experience horror and tragedy like this. Well, here we are. Here we are doing with it. Right now, I want to declare a state of emergency in the state of Massachusetts. Right now, I want to call on all military in the state of Massachusetts to deploy for order and duty right now. Right now, I want to order an immediate military blockade around the state borders of Massachusetts. No one is allowed in or out of Massachusetts until further notice. We must stop the spread. CX-422 is dangerous. If we allow this infection to spread throughout the intercontinental United States to get on the epidemic or, God forbid, pandemic scale, it will be a crisis for humanity. 
No, we're not just talking about the United States. We're talking about the whole world. CX-422 is a deadly, serious virus, and you must follow all directions under civil peace. At this moment, I want to declare martial law for the city of Boston in the city of Cambridge. CX-422 must be stopped. Failure to stop will result in dire consequences for humanity as this virus is taking over people's minds and turning them into quote-unquote zombies and cannibal hosts. This virus is serious, and we need to stop it now. To the citizens outside of the state of Massachusetts, do not panic. We have a plan to prevent this virus from spreading outside of the state. To the citizens of Massachusetts, please remain calm. You will be able to enjoy your normal lives really soon, but right now, the outside environment is dangerous and we must work to stop this virus together as Americans. Folks, for the first time in my presidency, I can honestly say that I don't know what to say. I can only ask that you guys remain safe, remain calm, and follow directions. Thank you. God bless you all, and God bless America. That was a message from the president. President Biden has declared a state of emergency for the state of Massachusetts. The city of Boston and the city of Cambridge are now under martial law at the order of the president. If you are in the cities of Boston or Cambridge, get indoors now and listen to further instructions hopefully coming in speaking of that. We are now getting a transmission from the emergency alert system. We're going to back off now and activate the emergency alert system for an important message. Please stand by. Law enforcement warning for the Boston and Cambridge local area. At 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the President has declared martial law in the cities of Boston and Cambridge due to cannibal attacks currently taking place in the area. Groups of the infected are on the move to Cambridge after overrunning the Boston military and police blockade. If you are in the city of Boston or Cambridge, remain indoors immediately. If you are outside, get indoors now. No citizens are allowed outside until the all-clear is given. Remain in your homes. All interstates, highways, schools, and most businesses will be shut down. You will have essentials and rations delivered to your home by the military once a week. With water, food, and other supplies to last up to 14 days. If you require medical assistance or any other essential services, call 911. If you are caught outside, you will be arrested and possibly shot. If you are caught conspiring with others, you will be arrested or shot. These emergency laws are meant to be taken seriously and must be treated as such. Any attempts to violate these laws will be met with brutal force. Martial law is in effect. Martial law is enforced when current laws are no longer able to maintain social order and stability. Listen to local authorities and do not violate these laws. The President has also declared a border shutdown of the state of Massachusetts. No one is allowed in or out of Massachusetts at this time. These drastic measures are put into place to stop the spread of the dangerous CX-4-22. This virus has epidemic and pandemic potential, and if we allow this virus to spread throughout the country or world, it could have devastating effects on humanity. Cannibal attacks are still taking place in the Boston area. If the infected is threatening you, 
then defend yourself by all means. Stay tuned to local media and outlets for more information. Stay indoors, and stop the spread of CX-4, 22. Alright folks, we are back with more live coverage of the quote-unquote, zombie outbreak. Say what you want, but we are witnessing a real-life version of a zombie outbreak. Looking down at my chopper, and it looks like the infected are clashing with the military blockade at Cambridge. Armed forces are trying to keep the infected out of the city, but it's looking like it's a struggle. As much as I would love for this horror to end, I would just advise everyone in Cambridge to prepare for the worse. Hopefully, the blockade will be strong enough to hold. But since the blockade in Boston failed, I wouldn't count on it. Oh my god! The infected are attacking the forces at the blockade. The armed forces are shooting them all, but I think it is only a matter of time before this blockade gets overrun by hordes of zombies. Please for the love of all that is holy, get indoors and hide, now. This is a serious situation. This is not a joke. This is real. Prepare yourselves. Oh no. The infected have escaped the blockade. Brace yourselves now. I repeat brace yourselves now. They're coming. I repeat, they're coming. Hide now. Please stay safe. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Cambridge Police Department. This is not a test. The infected have breached the police blockade in the city of Cambridge and are now on the attack in the Cambridge area. These cannibals are extremely dangerous. Lock all doors and windows, stay inside, barricade all entrances, and turn off lights. Stay as quiet and still as you possibly can. Do not panic. Do not make a sound, the National Guard will move across Cambridge to make rescue attempts. But in the meantime, remain in your shelter and have a weapon by your side in case of a infected break-in. The infected are very dangerous. Stay tuned to local media and follow all instructions given by civil authorities. Aim your fire towards the Longfellow Bridge. They're coming from the bridge. Copy that. All units, fire at the bridge. Pick as much of them off as you can. Do not hesitate. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? We have to keep fighting. With all due respect Sarge, there's no way we're going to pick all of them off. It's only a matter of time before we get overrun, just like the other two. I have no idea what we are going to do. We have to pull back. As much as I hate to admit it, you're right. There's no way we're going to fight off these attackers. What are we going to do Sarge? We have no choice but to nuke these two cities. The infected have overrun us all. And the more we allow the infected to spread CX-4, 22, the longer we will face this chaos and possibly create a nationwide epidemic or another pandemic like the coronavirus. We cannot let this virus get worse. Since this virus only spreads through droplets, and bites of the infected and is not airborne, we can destroy the virus along with the zombies. As drastic as this sounds, what choice do we have at this point? This is literally the absolute last resort, but it's the only way to stop C capital X422 at this point. Such a shame it had to come to this. Agreed. This is going to be bad, but it's our only choice. All men, pull back. I repeat, pull back. We are going with plan N. All soldiers report to bunkers and take non-infected individuals with you to the fallout shelters. All troops, report back to base. Abort mission. We've failed.
Arby's doesn't have a beef with burgers. However, Arby's does have a beef with beef that hasn't been smoked for 13 hours over hickory. Arby's does have a beef with beef that doesn't end up on buns with crispy onions and smoked gouda. Or flatbreads with cheddar and crispy bacon. So yeah, Arby's gets along... This program has been interrupted at the request of the U.S. government. Everyone receiving this broadcast should pay close attention to the details ahead. The information ahead is crucial to your safety. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems show transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WNBR. We will continue to serve the Boston-Cambridge area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Boston-Cambridge area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message has been transmitted by the United States government and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. At this time, do not turn off your device. The following information is crucial to your survival. At 5.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the United States military has decided to stop the spread of CX-422 and infected individuals by nuclear bombing the two major cities of Boston and Cambridge. A nuclear missile will strike the city of Boston in 15 minutes and the city of Cambridge in 19 minutes. All citizens 300 miles from Boston and Cambridge should seek a fallout shelter now. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear attacks. Prolonged exposure to fallout will result in radiation sickness and possibly death. If no such shelter exists in your area, then head indoors to the lowest floor or center of a sturdy building. A nuclear missile is about to strike. I repeat, a nuclear missile is about to strike. This drastic measure was used as a last resort to stop the infectious spread of CX-422 and the infected. This action was necessary for the survival of this country. All citizens within a 300-mile distance from Boston and Cambridge listening to this broadcast should take the following steps immediately. Head to a fallout shelter now. Take food, water, a battery-powered radio, and enough supplies to last up to 14 days. Stay in your shelter until an all-clear is given. Once detonation occurs, do not go outdoors. Exposure to fallout can lead to severe illness and death. Do not look at the flash. This will temporarily blind you. A nuclear strike is about to occur. The city of Boston and Cambridge have fallen to the infected. Head to a shelter now. Head to a shelter now. Listen to civil authorities. Stay tuned to local media for more information. We now conclude this message of the emergency alert system. Stay safe, and may God be with you all.
All clear. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The fallout has cleared out of the cities of Boston, Cambridge, and all areas within the 300-mile zone. The CX4, 22 virus and infected individuals have been wiped out. The threat to public health and safety has ended. It is now safe to leave your shelter. However, the cities of Boston and Cambridge have been severely damaged by the strikes. Many homes have been destroyed. It is not possible to reside in Boston and Cambridge right now. If you were resident of Boston or Cambridge and survived the strike, regardless of location, you will be transported to another location until Boston and Cambridge become habitable again. It may take few to several years to restore the cities. Support and financial aid will be provided to all citizens of Boston and Cambridge. You must have your ID, insurance, social security card, and important information with you to obtain assistance. Support will be given to all victims of this tragic situation. We now conclude this alert. The threat to public health and safety has ended. It is now safe to exit your shelter. This concludes all operations under the emergency alert system. Your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency. All normal programming will now resume. We now conclude this emergency action termination.